I rise to offer an amendment to the higher education budget that once again has language in it that bans domestic partner benefits for em university employees. Now, I just listened with great interest when the chairwoman defeated my colleague's amendment and insulted us all by saying that it was about respecting someone's religious freedom. It makes me want to ask the question, what about my religious freedom? What about everyone else's religious freedom? Why is it that you only promote religious freedom when it's people that agree with you? The implication is insulting. It's that if I don't agree with you, I can't be a person of faith. What about my right to religious freedom and equal protection under the laws? My religion believes that in a God who finds that love is love and that we should honor and respect people. Who are you to establish what faith wins? And how on earth as we, are we as a state still debating this? The governor likes to talk about immigration and making Michigan a place that's welcome to all. And then he waffles when a district court judge soundly defeats the same-sex marriage ban in Michigan. You have an attorney general who continues to waste taxpayer money with phony experts to defeat a couple's right to raise their kids together and have equal rights to do that. And the worst part is you continue to fight the opportunity for people to get married and at the same time you penalize them when they can't. And that's why people look at Michigan and wonder what the heck is going on up here. How far behind are we going to get as a state where you continue to put in your bills preclusions on domestic partner benefits? It's an embarrassment and it has a chilling effect on our ability to compete and to draw people into the state of Michigan. Maybe you should see what the business leaders for Michigan are announcing. Maybe you should listen to your friends in commerce because apparently you listen to them more than you listen to people of faith who don't agree with you. It's time for us to stop this baloney and get this kind of junk out of our budgets. And I ask that you support my amendment. Thank you, Senator. Senator Shootmaker. Thank you. Uh, I would urge a no vote. Uh, the taxpayers uh, provide a lot of money, and I don't think it's uncalled for to ask for accountability in how that money is spent. And I would urge, urge a no vote. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Senator Whitmer. I would just counter with gay people and unmarried people pay taxes to, and damn it, they deserve rights as well.